Hello and welcome back to another reaction. I'm Angie Knox and tonight I'm watching The Exorcist. So this is a request for my patrons. I put it on my poll. I'm really afraid of like the paranormal scary movies. Like I like the blood and gore and like the silly like whatever. Like I can deal with those. But when it comes to paranormal things, things that go bump in the night, like legit, it terrifies me because I know what goes bump in the night and I just say hell to the fucking no. So with that said, you guys are going to watch me probably with as many of the scared facial expressions that I can give. And really, when I think about it, the only thing I know about this movie is um, from what I saw in Scary Movie. Um, so yeah, like the beginning where they were like parodying it and everything like that. Um, I also think it's like based on a true story in um, like a town in Maryland, which is where I'm from. I'm from Maryland. And it's literally just going to torture me for the next couple of weeks because I'm going to be like just terrified. I'm going to have nightmares, but it's for you guys because you really want me to watch it. And tell me in the comments below why, why you want to see me so scared. <laughs> But also tell me in the comments what your favorite part of this movie is because, you know, this is, uh, you know, one of those master classes of cinema. It got so many awards when it first came out and everything like that. And anyways, I'm going to stop uh, ranting and I'm going to stop procrastinating. <laughs> and I'm going to watch this damn movie. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's get into the movie and let's get terrified. <laughs> Interesting. Is this like ancient times or something? Maybe this is the uh, the origin of where the the entity came from or something. It's not where I thought this was gonna start at all. Maybe that's like a relic that is cursed or has some sort of entity inside of it. It's like unleashed or like bought by someone later on, and then they're cursed or like taken over. I mean, I like how slow paced this is though. Like, you know, it's not like in your face right away. We're kind of like seeing things from his eyes as he goes and it's like very slow paced. We can kind of like take in what we're seeing. I'm like, I want answers, but at the same time, I'm like, don't give them to me. I don't want to know. I'm going to stay in my corner. Oh, those sounds. I just, uh, I know more is coming uh, and I'm terrified. This is why you should never have an attic. Jeez. <laughs> mm -mm, girl, just leave it alone. Don't try to find it. Hey, nice. This is so interesting. I had no idea any of this would be part of the movie. It's an interesting way to show the characters' lives, though. I like that. It's not like putting things in your face. It's just like, okay, she's an actress. This is her scene. This is how she goes about her life. She has a daughter and things like that, you know? Not too much heavy dialogue either. It's great so far. We're just kind of watching these people live their lives and like something ends up happening to them. Here we go with that iconic music. Something's about to go down. Oh, this about a half an hour? Oh, nice. Oh, I loved it. Oh, Mom, can't we get a horse? Well, not all we're in Washington. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Another great way to show her personality before she gets taken over. This is where he lives. Interesting. Not expecting that. I guess there's gonna be a lot of this movie that I'm not gonna expect, so I gotta stop saying that. Is that Rocky? <laughs> Another great way of showing like who he was before he became a priest. Great subtle ways of showing each person's character. He's a fighter. Okay. No, I didn't get it. She's the uh, sweetest. Isn't it nice? So far, I mean, the first 
30 minutes has been a freeze. I've been kind of holding my breath a little bit, but it's very pleasant. <laughs> very nice and slow paced, getting to know the characters. My bed was shaking. I can't get to sleep. Oh my god, that is definitely not mice. Jesus. My bed was shaking. Okay, well, like, maybe we should figure that out or something, right? <laughs> And I don't think mice or rats go pew pew. <laughs> like, there's clearly something else going on, lady. Do not open that right now. Do it later. <laughs> Do it like during the day. I feel like she's gonna see like glowing eyes or something. Smells <laughs> nice. Oh my god. <laughs> what? How is he there? Also, the flame went up like really high. Is he doing something? I don't know. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Jeez, man. He's dealing with his own demons. He's dealing with a lot in his life. He needs some help. He needs someone to, like, get the picture, you know? Listen, if you ever go up there again, will you take me along? <laughs> what for? Where's Missionary on Mars? Oh, I remember Scary Movie. Something happens during this party. I mean, I'm gonna try not to use the parody as a, a reference point. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? What's for dessert? <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen at a party. People just instigating. <laughs> How is she gonna sleep through all that craziness? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Life of the party. He's gonna miss out. <laughs> I feel like they're just like kind of leveling out, making everything fun in the beginning, kind of like making you think that this is gonna be the tone of the movie, and then you're just completely underprepared once like the shit really goes down. There we go. I pull him back. Yeah, like. Oof, got chills, man. Kids in freaking scary movies. It's a way to stop a party. It's just like the doctor said, it's nerves, and that's all. You just take your pills and you'll be fine, really. Unless it's something else. Yeah, if a kid told me you're gonna die up there, I'd get the fuck out. I would be like, done. Like, okay, like, not fucking with that. <laughs> Her bed is fucking shaking. Oh my god. Girl, get out. Get out of there. Don't you dare make her go back to that bed. That shift in her personality, too. You see it. Whole bed was thumping and rising up the floor and shaking the whole thing with me on it. Problem with your daughter is not her bed, it's her brain. No, no, no. Don't be alarmed. If it's a lesion in the way she's fortunate, all we have to do is remove the scar. I think it's the bed, dog. <laughs> oh my god, I would. Mm. Look, guys, there's clearly something else going on here. Holy crap. If that happened to me, ah, oh, oh, that's terrifying as a parent, man, as anybody witnessing something like that. You heard the story. Same thing here. Same principle, I mean. We still think the temporal lobe. Oh, what are you talking about? Did you see her or not? Bitch, explain her voice changing. Come on. What is this? Question is, how did it get to her? Like, what is the connection? I mean, the connection between, like, what happened at the beginning of the movie to now. Like, I'm really curious. Because it didn't seem like there was anything, you know, did she go somewhere and bring that relic back to the house? Or is it like something completely different? Did that archaeologist live in that house prior to them moving in? Are you the person inside of Reagan? <sighs> okay. Clearly something like sexual going on with this being. Or just... He just wants to torture people, he just say like obscene things. Burke Dennings was found at the bottom of those steps leading to M Street with his head turned completely around, facing back. 
the fuck? You know, I love to talk, film, discuss, to critique. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> Quite frankly, we really don't know much about it at all, except that it, it starts with a conflict or a guilt, and it leads to the patient's delusions that his body has been invaded by some alien intelligence. Uh, it is happening. <laughs> Guys, uh, clearly, I mean, they're scientists. They're gonna be like, nah, but like, come on. You're sorry, Jesus Christ, 88 doctors, and all you can tell me was all of your bullshit is- My God, being a parent, dealing with this, with all these freaking idiots. I mean, clearly they're smart because they're like in the medical profession, but this isn't their area of expertise. You gotta go to the experts in this area, you know? Do you have any religious beliefs? No. What about your daughter? No. Hmm. Why? Have you ever heard of exorcism? Interesting! Wow! Okay, the doctors. It uh, has worked, in fact, although not for the reasons they think, of course. It's, it's uh, purely a force of suggestion. Thing. The victim's belief in possession is what helped cause it. So in that same way, that belief in the power of exorcism can make it disappear. You're telling me that I should take my daughter to a witch doctor? I mean, at this point, you got no other choice. I'm really surprised that the doctor suggested it, though. But of course, it's a, you know, they suggested it in a medical way. Like, if you believe in it, obviously, you know. But that's how magic works as well, you know. If you believe that something can happen, you can make it happen. The steps. I wonder if they're gonna, like, do a flashback of that scene or something. I feel like they're alluding to it. Better be careful. It could happen to you. Here we go! How did I know? He has it! It's because of that relic! Oh man! Wow! This was under Reagan's pillow. Did you put it there? Of course I didn't. I didn't put it. I'm sorry, but if I worked for someone whose kid started doing that sort of stuff, I would leave. I know how dangerous that could be, being exposed to something like that. I, I, I really hate to ask you this, but please give an autograph. Of course. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot she's actually like famous. You know, through all this, she's very human, humanized. You're a very nice lady. You're a nice man. Uh, I'll come back when she's feeling better. I don't know. I think you're gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh god! Holy crap, dude! Oh, holy crap! This is so freaking terrifying! Jesus, to witness all of that! Oh! Oh my god! No! 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 Jeez! Yeah, like. I don't know what I would do, dude. Like, fuck, man. Well, the first thing, I'd have to get him into a time machine back to the 16th century. Or now. It just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McNeil. Um, yeah, since when? Well, since we learned about mental illness, paranoia, schizophrenia, I've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism. Not one. Wow. Yeah. It just so happens that somebody very close to me is, is probably Wow, this is interesting. The progression of this in the way that he's rationalizing things. Could you see her? Yes, I could. I could see her as a psychiatrist, but I can't oh, see her. Oh, not a psychiatrist. She needs a priest. Then they sent me to you. Now you're going to send me back to them? God, man. So fascinating. I thought this was going to be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I do exorcism all the time and things like that. But it's so fascinating, like, as someone who is working within the church and, you know, his studies in the real life sciences, the medical sciences and everything, makes him a little less believing in what's happening to her. I'm gonna believe today. I'm Damien Carroll. And I ain't that devil. Now kindly undo these straps. Where's Reagan? In here with us. Us? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Ugh. And this is why I don't eat split pea soup. Ugh. You asked me what I think is best for your daughter. Six months under observation in the best hospital you can find. No, her entire being has transformed. It's clearly not her. 
Did Reagan know a priest was coming over? No. Did you know my mother died recently? Yes, I did. I'm very sorry. No. Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. Why'd you ask? It's not important. Good night. All right. Let's see his journey into really, truly believing. Never seen a skeptical priest like that before in a movie. Normally it's like, okay, let's do this, you know? It's interesting. It's like a more realistic rendition of like how someone would really react to something like this happening in this time period. What an excellent day for an exorcism. You'd like that? Intensely. <laughs> but wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? It would bring us together. Uh-oh. You and Reagan. You and us. Um. Did you do that? Uh. <laughs> Jeez, cheeky. What's that? Holy water. You keep it away. Uh oh. <gasps> well, that's her speaking another language. God. It seems he's been convinced. Sounds no. no. no like backwards. No one there. Roll it it's backwards. language, all right. Is it? That's English in reverse. Listen. Mm -hmm. Give us time. Let her die. I would not want to listen to that by myself. I don't want to watch this by myself. <laughs> Getting chills again. Oh my god. Got that music in the background, the screeching sounds. <sighs> Definitely adds to the eeriness. You're convinced that it's genuine? I don't know. Yep. But I have made a prudent judgment that it meets the conditions set down in the ritual. You would want to do the exorcism yourself. Not by himself. Yeah, get someone else too, right? Assist. He's had experience. I didn't know that. 10, 12 years ago, I think, in Africa. The exorcism supposedly lasted months. Wow. Heard it damn near killed him. Wow, so maybe it's come back and he knew because he had that experience with the same one. That's the connection. And he knew it was gonna happen eventually. At least suspected. Here we go. It's the foggy night. I've seen this in the poster. <laughs> it's happening. silhouette of him in the fog. Iconic. I think it might be helpful if I gave you some background on the different personalities Reagan has manifested. So far, I'd say there seem to be three. She's convinced that There's she's... only one. He knows! Jeez, with the green! Ugh, it's so gross. Holy Lord, almighty father, oh, everlasting God. God. Father of our I mean, they can move things around. I could easily. I'm a little afraid for them, to be honest. Jeez. Oh, yeah, it's real. It's real, dog. Games are your holy apostles, and the power to plant underfoot serpents and scorpions. Oh my god, no! Stop with the transformation! And the power. I just want to say this little girl's performance is freaking explosive. Oh my god. This is really freaking good. It's so convincing, you know? Like she's really going through it. Oh my god. Oh crap. Shut up your ass! In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! God! In the name of the Father! Yeah, but where are you sending them? That's the big question. Like, are they gonna come back? Jesus Christ! No! With the Father and the Holy Spirit! Damien! Jeez! I command you! By the judgment <sighs> of the living and the dead. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. 
Oh my god, it's so creepy. The power of Christ compels you. Yes. The power of Christ compels you. Is it happening? The power of Christ compels you. It's happening. But where is it going? That's the question. God himself who commands you. The majestic Christ. God the Father commands you. <laughs> Ugh, stop it! Never turn your back on this shit. Ugh, God damn it. Let's rest before we start again. Hmm. It's fucked him up a little bit. Wow, pushing in on him, seeing how this has affected him emotionally. Great performances. No, you're not supposed to. No, don't have a conversation, remember? Oh no, it's fucking with you, man. Don't mess with it. What are you doing? Stop. You're not my mother! Trying to get to him. His emotions. Don't listen. That's intense, man. Oof. Jeez. He said, don't listen to it. It's gonna try to fuck with you. Is she gonna die? No. I mean, you gotta find a place to send it where it never comes back again, you know? Like, it's, it seems to be latching on to things to come back eventually. It's like a horcrux or something like that. Like, it's put itself, its soul into totems. Like, random people pick them up, then they get possessed by them. Like, something bad happens to them. I mean, you can't really promise that. If you banish it, it could affect her body. And something's wrong with her heart. You son of a bitch! <gasps> oh my god! Holy crap! Are you serious? Take me! Take me! Oh crap! Oh crap! What's he supposed to do now? Oh my god! Oh! Wait, oh my god. Wait, so he like legitimately took it, in, um, uh, it, uh, it into himself, I can't even speak, and sacrificed himself. What? Wow, I was, mm, holy crap. All of his demons, you know, he took it upon himself. He said, you know what, I'll take it. Damn, that's, holy crap, this movie is good. Holy crap. Sure you won't change your mind. Oh my god. How do you go on with life after that, you know? <sighs> my god. Hmm. It's probably gonna follow her. It's not over. I bet you it's not over. Honey, this is Father Dyer. Hi, Father. Hello. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. I'll call you. Hmm. I wonder if she actually does remember things, she just didn't tell her mom. Oh man, again, like how do you move on from that memories? That's just fucked. Hmm. Wow, this was a movie. So, luckily this wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be. I thought there would be a lot of jump scares, a lot more. I mean, it was really terrifying, but I was more terrified for the characters than I was for like myself in my environment right now or anything like that, or like, you know, for my, my nightmares and my dreams and things. The acting and the writing, the pace of the film, it was so interesting. And it was so just well done. Like everything just flowed in the right way, you know, from the beginning all the way to the middle and to the end, like learning the connection between the father and why she was possessed and things like that. Learning, you know, about um, the mother and her life, the girl or the daughter and her personality and everything like that. How we learned about the characters and everything in that sense. And then also just like the performance of that little girl, like, holy crap, that 
power that she she could exude with like everything that she was doing and you know mimicking um this this creature inside of her like kudos to her for like holy crap like that is some damn good acting right there because there were moments like i said like this my room is like 70 degrees right now and i was getting chills i was getting goosebumps from all the stuff that was happening like that she was doing and everything like that because like holy crap man like oof like oof i mm. There's so much that like, <laughs> like, I don't even know what I want to say in a way because it's just, it was a great horror film in the sense that the things that were happening were horrific. It wasn't necessarily like there to jump you or scare you or like, you know, put everything out there. It was like deep within everything that was happening within the movie, the horror within the movie and what was happening to the characters, which I really appreciate because a lot of horror movies nowadays, it's all about scaring you. And this was about what was happening in the characters and within them experiencing all of the stuff, you know, with the priest and his demons, like his guilt, everything that was happening and how the creature or the demon or whatever you want to call it was, was kind of, um, goading him, you know, like trying to get him to like react and everything like that. That is just deep within the story. You know, we learned this thing about him early on in the story and how he's a fighter and how he takes care of his mother and how he felt guilty for what happened to her because he wasn't there and then we brought that back into the end where he sacrificed himself because he was dealing with all of the stuff inside of him what he couldn't like handle anymore that he just felt he needed to be the one to take on all of these demons and just hurl himself out and sacrifice himself for this little girl who literally did nothing you know like she's just the sweetest little girl and that is a good fucking story like man and then how they tied everything in like i said from the beginning with the archaeological site to the priest in the end where he you know was like you know the one with experience he was the one that had experienced this being you know before and man like i'm i'm so curious i want to learn more like where did this being come from obviously the characters don't know so we don't know either but it's fascinating you know the story and also like the totem you know that he was carrying around with him or that he found and how it like came to be in this household you know that sort of thing too i'm really curious about but um yeah like i said it's kind of like a, a whole crux from harry potter where like you know voldemort put his soul into different things and those different items took hold of or affected people in certain ways because his soul was like kept within them in order to like become whole again so yeah that was wow i'm i'm also i mean this was an incredible story. It's terrifying that it's based off of a true story, but it's also interesting how they had the psychiatrist who was also a priest in modern times, you know, where it's like he is a believer in, you know, his faith, but at the same time, he's like a rational skeptic where he's like, he's learned everything in the medical field and he knows that back in the day when people were performing exorcisms in like the 1600s or whatever, it was because they weren't aware of like the psychological ramifications of like whatever, you know, happens in the mind and all that stuff, the psychological issues that people can face. And now that he's aware of that, he's like, mm, nah, it's not, you know, it's not a possession, like shut up. But then it's like, wait, this is real. And that was really fascinating because like I said before, I honestly thought, you know, everyone's gonna be like, okay, she needs an exorcism, you know, like that sort of thing. You know, I thought the story was just gonna be like, okay, this shit's happening, let's do this. But it was the progression and the le learning and the understanding and the mother trying to figure out what's happening with her daughter. And later, the last like ditch effort was, I also suggested by the doctors, which was really surprising, but like was, she needs an exorcism. Like, even though the doctors were like, you know, saying everything like, oh yeah, it's a psychological thing. If she believes it, then she can also believe that she can be healed from it or whatever. But um, yeah, that was a really interesting way to portray the story. And I really appreciated that. 
because you know with a lot of horror movies and things like that nowadays they kind of get straight to the point they kind of are just like oh this is this and this is this but we had the we were learning kind of with the character and seeing her journey into accepting like that this is happening to her daughter and we're watching the priest also accept this as happening as well and seeing his journey with learning about like himself kind of and kind of facing his own demons but like so yeah, wow. This was definitely a really interesting movie and I'm glad that I finally watched it because like I said, I have been terrified of watching this movie because so many people have been saying like it's the most terrifying movie of all time and all this stuff. But I think also because I watched scary movie and because it had like the little parodies of like this movie in it i i kind of not that i was aware of what would happen because you know obviously i figured things were different but i kind of like have those visuals you know so it wasn't as like surprising to me when i actually saw this movie when i actually like watched this movie because it was like oh, okay like I kind of remember this from that movie and okay, that is tying into what happened. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting, but yeah. Thank you to my patrons for suggesting this movie. I will not be having nightmares tonight. So I'm very happy about that. Um, knock on wood because with my brain, I'll probably have nightmares anyways. But yeah, thank you guys so much for requesting this movie. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.